Aunt Ethel, I'd like to have you meet a very Aunt Ethel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man. And now, Aunt Ethel, I'd like you oh, to game meet over. Harvey. Hey guys, hey. welcome back again to our channel. Today we're watching. Oh, yes. a, it's like a classic film. I think I so. Know. Never heard of it, to be honest. How much more watching it? This is <laughs> Harvey 1950. Someone requested this. Yes, this is from our tier on our Patreon. Where is my movie? This oh. is suggested by. Okay. I mean, requested by Louis. Louis. Yeah. We forget your last name. French name. <laughs> Sounds nice, but it's hard to pronounce. But anyway, yes. this is your request, so we're going to honor it. Just what now. year this is, Maria? 1950. 1950? 50. 50. 59. 50. Not 59? Nope, 50. 5-0. Oh, yeah, just a few years after the war. What the heck? So, I'm curious about it. Oh, it's the same with like, the Casablanca that we watched? It was like a little, that A little year. newer. Yeah, yeah, my goodness. Okay, we're excited to watch this one. Hopefully, yeah. it's going to be something interesting, intriguing. And, mm -hmm. of course, you will see our uh, the whole our whole reaction during exactly. after the end of the movie, guys. Yes. So, let's just jump uh, and watch this movie. But if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe over here. Please do. Let's jump into it. Oh, isn't it the guy from *A Wonderful Life*? Yeah. What okay. is? It is. Is him? What the heck? After you, There's nobody there. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got a special delivery here. Oh, that sounds rather safe. Hi, nice man. What? He broke it. Yeah. Come on. What? Come, come on. on. What the heck is going on? Is there a ghost next to him? Or he has an man. imaginary friend? Oh, Myrtle, it's a wonderful feeling to have your relative out of the house before the company comes. Why, well, Miss Johnson, what are you doing? Leaving. There was okay. a man here a minute ago, and he stopped and he spoke to me. And then he introduced me to somebody. To whom? Do you think I'd stay in this house after that? Oh, man. Game over. I think she's scared because that guy's talking to, to an invisible person. Man, that guy has something to hide. I mean, that we don't know yet. Your Uncle Elwood is not living with us. We're living with him. Living with him and his pal. And his pal, Harvey. Harvey. So Harvey is the imaginary, a ghost, or what? Imaginary friend. friend. Uncle Elwood won't be home this afternoon. Or will he? <laughs> <laughs> Feel it, my girl. This is a pleasure. Elwood has just gone out. But I'm so afraid he may come back. You can understand what? You can depend on me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. His voice is so weird. Sounds like a Looney Tunes character. His sister's giving a party. He wouldn't fit in. His name is Edward P. Dow. Oh, wow, I do Oh, he's wet. Ma. 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 Oh, he's down on the floor. Oh, uh, the doctor will see you in a Ma. minute. And he's supposed to keep watch on the Elwood. I know. <laughs> He has two hats with him? Oh, yeah, yeah. And don't tell me two jackets and, or coats. How is he? Oh, he's just fine. <laughs> Would he prefer a booth, Mr. Dad? Oh, thank you, Mr. Cracker. He seems to prefer the bar today. Okay, the barman has a... He got used to him, yeah. you know? Because he comes there every day. I guess so, yeah. How are you, Mr. Dow? Fine. And how is he? Oh, he's splendid. What? They get along. Uh, would you like to come to my house for dinner tonight? <laughs> I couldn't make it tonight. Uh, uh, tomorrow night? Would, would that suit you? Yes, yes. My sister mm -hmm. loves to entertain. She, she's very social, you know. Yes, I see by the papers. <gasps> oh, maybe it's so there that they're having a party. See? Oh, game over. Well, Vita didn't tell me anything about this. It must have slipped her mind. Harvey, I... It seems that Vita is looking more up. Yeah. That'll be four bits. The one at the end will pay for it. Don't come back oh, here. Keep it alight. It's so tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Why that guy didn't want to freaking yeah, pay know. his drink? Up, Ethel. Oh, Vita Louise Simmons, I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's a good way to greet someone. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Is that Mrs. Frank Cummings? Doesn't she look ghastly? I thought she was dead. <laughs> Everything for her is dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. <gasps> he came home. He oh, came it's home. game over. Elwood. Elwood down. Bless your heart. Aunt Ethel, I'd like to have you meet a very... Aunt Ethel. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man. And now, Aunt Ethel, I'd like you oh, to meet game over. Harvey. Harvey, you've heard me speak of Aunt Ethel Chauvin. 
What? Now we must go in and greet the rest of our friends. Come along, Harvey. Man, look how she looks at him now. Meet the friends. Add Elf over you. Pardon me, you're you're standing in his way. <laughs> I'm coming, Harvey. They're going to the room and introduce well, I, themselves. I think I'll be running along. She's running, man. It's game oh, over. Oh no. That's it. The party is yeah, about ruined. to be over. Yeah, it is ruined. No, that's it. Up you go. I can't face those people. <laughs> I just I'm going to do something I should have done long ago. What? What what? Would you mind coming into the library? Oh, of course, will you? Come on, follow me, Harvey. <laughs> he looks like a giant that's with him. He always looks up. And he's tall as well. Will you wait here for me, Elwood, dear? You want both of us to wait, Vita? Oh, yes. Elwood, both of you. Will you keep an eye on him, please? I, uh, I won't be but a minute. Yeah, but if that guy hears that he's talking with Harvey, he says, excuse me for a second. And you wish to render your brother here at the sanitarium for treatment. What is your brother's name? What? Oh, he uh, wants. She wants to put him yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Isn't this wonderful, Vita? Okay, buddy. What? What the heck? I want him committed out here permanently because I cannot stand another day of that Harvey. Well, Harvey doesn't didn't do anything to you. We will see. Harvey. Now, who is he? He's a rabbit. A rabbit? A big white rabbit, six feet high, or is it six feet three and a half? Whoa. Here I am trying to get Myrtle May started with a nice group of young people. <laughs> Maybe you'll make him consider that you're crazy also. Every once in a while, I see this big white rabbit myself. Mrs. Now, isn't that terrible? Don't you worry, Mrs. Simmons. I'm going to help you. Uh oh. Oh. I think she's gonna stay here also. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. What the? Hello? The cab is still waiting. Oh, Elwood's things. Yes, well, I better come get them, I guess. He might need them. I'm gonna find time to leave a desk just when I've got a new patient in my office. A <laughs> new patient? A new patient. <laughs> Sound the gong. Whistle that poor woman mustn't leave the ground. Made a getaway, huh, Doc? Ma. Man. Uh oh. Now, really, I... wants to talk to you. No, I... It's game over. Oh, you let me go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ma. But doctor, I thought the woman was all right, so I had Wilson take the brother up to number 24 South Wing G. That fixes everything. That's just wonderful. Why didn't you have a conversation with um Elwood? Kelly, do you realize what you've done? This man Dowd can sue us for false commitment. The woman can do. Dr. Sanderson, we don't permit errors in this institution. Uh oh, but not this one. This is double error. Miss Kelly, you met Miss Dumpy? Yes, of course. Well, I, I <laughs> want both of you to meet a very dear. Seems there's been a mistake. Uh -huh. ah. Been a mistake. <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. You could have had a bath too. Uh huh. I've already had a bath. I was speaking to my friend. Mr. Dowd, I take a bath every morning. Not with her. And now I'd like both of you to meet a very now, dear now, friend we of mine. Sit down. Uh, Won't you have a chair? Oh, he's not be able to. <laughs> I know, I know, because they keep interrupting him. Is your chair comfortable? Hmm? Is the chair quite comfortable, Mr. Dowd? Yes. Would you care to try it? No, 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 thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be nice to him because... Yeah, because not... they did a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They think they did a mistake. Why, she came in here insisting that you needed treatment. Oh, that's, that's perfectly ridiculous. It was when she became so emotional about this... This big white rabbit, oh. uh, Harvey. Before we go any further, I must insist that you and Miss Kelly allow me to introduce you to... Now let me right. make my... <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them up. It stands to reason no one has ever seen a white rabbit six feet high. Uh, not very often, Doctor. So she must be committed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to invite you to come downtown with me and we'll go to a charming little place called Charlie's and we'll have a drink. Miss Kelly and I are on duty until 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, 10 o'clock will be fine. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Dow. Uh-huh. Ma. They didn't look. Oh, uh, stop the car a moment, Wesley. Ah, uh, the wife of the doctor, I think. It's Chumley. So. Dr. Chumley. As I'm looking for my friend Harvey, I turn my back for an instant and he seems to have wandered off. If I meet your friend inside, I'll be glad to give him a message for you. But how will I recognize your friend? Well, you can't miss him, Mrs. Chumley. He's a puka. <laughs> A puka? Harvey is not only a puka, he's also my best friend. What's puka? We don't know what's don't puka know what either. The heck. I think he just wants to have friends, Marianne. Have yeah. you noticed that? He's just giving these cards to people so if they want to call him. Yeah. 
someone to talk with. While I've had many patients out here with animals, I've never before had a patient with an animal that loud. Yes, Doctor, she called him Harvey. Here's your hat, Dr. Chumley. I'm waiting, man. Oh, that's, you... that's Harvey's hat. Yeah, a hole for the ears. Where the ears should go out. <laughs> a few minutes ago, I met a gentleman at the gate. His name was Dowd. He said he was looking for a friend of his named uh, Harvey. Harvey? <laughs> So you gave him a pass, Dr. Sanderson. <laughs> Game over. Wilson. Yes, ma'am. What's a puka? What's a what? A puka. A fairy spirit in animal form. Always very large. Uh-huh. And how are you, Mr. Wilson? What? How are you, Mr. Wilson? The worst. Yeah, that was a weird dictionary. Is his name Wilson? I think so. Don't tell me that freaking Harvey wrote that thing there. Oh, I think so. <laughs> this is so weird. Mother. Mother. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. They let her go? Yeah. Oh, mother, what happened to you? Oh, my. I want you to sue them. Oh, no. You said one of the doctors came up to, to talk to you? Besides, I told him something in strictest confidence and he blabbed it. That uh, he sometimes see the rabbit? Yeah, because <laughs> that guy keep talking about it. But what if that rabbit is real, ma? Is oh, that him? I don't want no part of that wacky dame. I'm looking for that other screwball. Where is he? Uh huh. <laughs> what is this woman? He wants a man. She wants a man. Hey, my name's Marvin Wilson, honey. Hey, Wilson. Your... Suppose we go in the kitchen, Mr. Wilson. You can relax and be yourself in there. Do you like your work, Mr. Wilson? Oh, I do now, Myrtle. Like... <laughs> That's it. What happened? She grabbed that man. She's... <laughs> He's not living. <laughs> oh, he came home. And what the heck he took? Uh, the paint? But he lost um, Harvey because he left the coat and hat there. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So maybe this is his idea of Harvey be, be, no, being No, I don't him. think it's just idea, man. I think that the rabbit is know. real, man. Yeah, because with the dictionary, right? I hope no psychiatrist hears me talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> A freaking painting! Let's see, let's see. I want to see it. Of him and Harvey, Marian. <laughs> Look at that. Man, Ma, that is creepy. I know. Harvey. Harvey. You left him at the sanitarium. But Marvin, you didn't finish your sandwich. Listen. What happened to you? He's not here, doctor. Then what are you doing here? Oh, Mrs. Simmons, please listen to me. I oh, beg of well, you. Well, I'll listen. All right. But I'm warning you, it won't do you any good. <laughs> Look at that painting. Uh, that picture of the mantle. That portrait of my mother. Nope. Doctor, that is not my mother. Oh, well, I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> he was afraid. Where are you, dear? Oh, I'm here, Vita. Oh, is, is Harvey there? Tell him Harvey is here. Oh, but he isn't. I know that, but pretend he is. Say he is. It won't work. He wants us to call Harvey to the telephone. Oh, what? no. Oh, oh, never mind, Vita. Harvey just walked in the door down here. Yeah. What? Uh -huh. you, you better look in the bathtub. It must be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> He's at Charlie's place. That's a bar over at Twelfth and May. I want to observe the expression on his face when he talks to this rabbit. He does talk to the rabbit. Oh, well, they tell each other everything. Good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Myrtle May, see who the stranger is in the bathtub. This woman, she's, you're going more crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> no wonder why you end up in the wrong spot. Exactly, exactly. Taking your clothes and shoving you at the bathtub. Didn't Dr. Chumley come back here with that psycho? Well, we thought he was with you. Hey, that was four hours ago. Well, have you any idea where he went? So that was four hours ago when he decided to go to Charlie's place? I guess so. Goodness. Maybe they got along well, you know? I think it's more to this than just, you know, them thinking it's Maybe crazy. Maybe Char Harvey is his, like, um, childhood pet, you know? Maybe. Yeah, this is the place. This is just uh -huh. him. Well, I've been expecting. All right, where's the doctor? What'd you do? Wilson. That guy is, doesn't rely on a speaking man. Mr. Dowd, where is Dr. Chumley? Well, not knowing, I cannot say. What happened then, Mr. Dowd? Well, I then introduced Harvey to the doctor. There was a beautiful blonde woman named of Mrs. Smithills. Dr. Chumley went over to sit next to her, explaining to her that they had once met. I went up to the <laughs> bar to order another drink, and when I came back here, they were gone. What? Well, they got close, the doctor and Harvey? I think so. <laughs> I'm going to check in those other two joints. 
And Dr. Chumley better be there, pal, or else. My regards to you and anybody else you happen to run into. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the doctor. What happened to him? Miss Kelly, may I take hold of your hand? <laughs> he likes her. <laughs> well, I'm sure Dr. Sanderson would love to dance with somebody as lovely as you. <laughs> and he's so like bringing good to people. Yeah, I know. Like everywhere he goes. Yeah, I know. The only problem they don't accept is Harvey. Uh, yeah. But I would want to see what happened to the duck. <laughs> I'm curious with that also. Uh huh. Because these two are always denying their feelings toward each other. Yeah, mainly him. Yeah, mainly him. She the made guy. a point. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. Where are you going, Mr. Dodge? I'm just looking for someone. How did you happen to call him Harvey? Well, Harvey's his name. How do you know that? One night several years ago, I was walking early in the evening down along Fairfax Street. They're so curious to listen to it. I, I heard this voice saying, Good evening, Mr. Dodge. And here was this big six foot rabbit leaning up against a lamppost. A natural lab. Went over to chat with him. Naturally, I will run. Naturally. You know my name, and I don't know yours. He said, what name do you like? What name do you like? Harvey's always been my favorite name. What a coincidence. My name happens to be Harvey. Man. What the... Didn't you know somebody, sometime, someplace by the name of Harvey? No, not one, doctor. I huh. liked the name before. Hey, we looked in both of those joints and Dr. Chumley ain't in either one of them. Oh no, the police came. Which one is Dowd? Uh, well, my name's Dowd. Let me give you one of my cards. Never mind the yeah, card. Yeah. Man. Kind of, kind of, kind of start to believe him with the Harvey, man. <laughs> oh. Coming, coming. I look the look doctor. at him. What the heck happened to him? Are you all right, doctor? I'm being followed. Who's following you? None of your business. A big white rabbit. He's drunk. I think he is drunk. Because yeah. they remember they drank and they drank. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, yeah. <gasps> what? Oh. What? No way. It's game over. That's it. The rabbit is real. Did I not tell you? And he seemed very afraid. That's not good news. Uh-huh. He got <gasps> in. Mom. I don't think he wants to harm him, but he's afraid of him because he doesn't want to accept it. No, the, the doctor. He's running. I saw him. He came through the window. I followed him into it. Who was it, doctor? Who, who came through the window, doctor? I won't tell you. Well, what's he talking about? Forget it. Because he knows he, they're yeah. not going to believe him. Pretending to be normal. I'm taking a look around this joint. I'm going to see what's going on. And they forgot about him. It's locked. It's locked. What? <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh, it's him. He came oh. here, man. Excuse me. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dr. Well, nice to run into you again. Mr. Dowd, I, I'd like to speak to you in my office alone, please. Oh. Mr. Dowd, what kind of a man are you? Mm. Thinks he's an alien or something. Where on the face of this tired old earth did you find a thing like, like him? Ooh. You mean uh -huh. Harvey the Puka? Uh huh, uh huh. It's very, what? very personal. Man. Did I tell you he could stop clocks? What? And you can go anywhere you like and stay as long as you like, and when you get back, not one minute will have ticked by. Man. He cannot deny it because he saw it. Boy. <laughs> what? Where I'd go. Where? I'd go to Akron. Akron, oh yeah. I'd go there with a pretty woman. Oh. A strange woman. Then I would tell her things. Things that I've never told to anyone. Would he do this for me? Oh, he could and might. By the way, Doctor, where is Harvey? Oh, but he's, he's probably waiting for me down at Charlie's. Uh, yes, that's it. Here we are. Okay, pass the camera. Uh oh, the judge. Oh, good. Nobody here but people. <laughs> Nobody here but Pete. In my opinion, Elwood P. Dowd is suffering from a third degree hallucination. And I recommend formula number 977. If he won't see the rabbit anymore, give it to him. Then when Harvey comes to the door, I'll deal with him. Mother <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
what he's just saying. Oh, Vita, Myrtle May, well, what a delightful surprise. Always nice with people. Mr. Dowd, I have a formula, 977, that will be good for you. I haven't run into anybody who needs it. I'd be glad to recommend it. Harvey wouldn't do anything for you. He's making a fool of you. Oh, Elwood, don't be a fool. Our friends never come to see us anymore. We have no social life, whatever. I, I, I've always felt that Vita should have everything she wants. <laughs> I think he's gonna take the serum, man. Uh, I'll take it. Where do I go, Doc? In my office, what? Mr. Vita, you... Tell Dr. Chalmers to say goodbye to the old fella for me. He's not even gonna say goodbye to Harvey himself. What is that, Dr. Chimley, or how is his Chumley. name? Chimley. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't know what is happening here. Lady jumped down in my cab and left without paying me. She didn't say anything, and the fella gets nervous after a while. Why? I must have forgotten my wallet. Would you mind, Vita? Oh, of course. Oh, I know. I'll get it for you from my brother. Would you please let my brother step out here just a moment? This cab driver won't wait. <laughs> This is so freaking weird. Dowd's my name, Elwood P. Mine is Lofgren, E.J. Mr. Lofgren, let, let, let me, me give, give you one of my cards. Car. <laughs> I brought him out here to get that stuff, and I drove him home after they had it. On the way out here, they sit back and enjoy the ride. They talk to me. Yeah, but afterwards, after. uh, it's game over afterwards. Crab, crab, they yell at me. Watch the lights, watch the brakes, watch the intersections. They scream at me to hurry. It's no fun. And no tips. My brother would have tipped you anyway. He's very generous. But after this. After this, he'll be a perfectly normal human being. Hmm. I see. I understand. Oh, no. No. Mm -hmm. I changed her thoughts. mind. I don't want my brother to oh. be like that. Elwood. What's the trouble? What's the matter? What's going on? <laughs> they all came Everybody's out. come. I don't know what you want. You didn't want that rabbit either. And what's wrong with Harvey? Yeah. Oh. She cares about him now. But I'm going to take that cat back to town. And I'm not giving up another night's sleep again, no matter how big the animal is. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh. Why, look at that. Her coin purse is there. Uh, Harvey Harvey's did doing, it. doing this, man. Yeah, but because of the cab driver, you. Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. He cares about freaking. What's his name again? I forgot. Elwood! Okay. Come, little mate. <laughs> oh no, she won't. Uh -huh. Look at him. It was just sitting down there. Look at that. Look at that, how he's moving. Oh, well, wasn't it cold out here? I don't mind if I do. That'd warm us up, wouldn't it? They're gonna go <laughs> have a drink, I think. Oh, Charlie's be fine. Yeah, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here, buddy. Oh, Even oh, us, we no, look at it differently now. Down. Don't take him away. Let him stay with me. Oh. No, I, I, I don't mind. He stays with the duck for two weeks, maybe. Yeah, I think To so. take him there. We've been to Akron. That's it. He can see him. Akron. That's why he never took him, had met him for like a after four hours Sorry, we've lost the car the judge took it we'll have to go down to the corner and wait for a bus hurry up maybe he's a little sad mm -hmm. mm. was anything the matter i i thought you decided to stay with dr chumley oh he went <gasps> you oh what he, he did already, already passed the two weeks he remember he stops time, time? Freaking game over i prefer yeah. you too he prefers him. <laughs> this movie. The end. Freaking <laughs> out. Okay. Wow. That was Whoa. always very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think I get it now at the end. Like uh, Harvey represents innocence. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Dreams. Dreams Hope. and hopes. Yeah, yeah. I'd mostly dream like innocence, but the yeah. one back then when we yeah. were young, like that. Cause, cause I understand it with the case with the doctor mm -hmm. when he wanted like to go to this place Akron and mm -hmm. to just like mm -hmm. you know to get rid of all the troubles. Yeah, and that and to be just to do that. Exactly. And also with the taxi driver, like he experienced bringing a lot of people to this place and they yeah, think yeah. they are crazy and, after and they, that, they they need to be fixed to fit yeah, in the and world. Yeah, after that right? they're just bad. They because before they know how to appreciate everything. Yeah. But after that, they take that serum, right? They go back to being just. I think it's just people blocks, who doesn't know how. They're part of brain where you where you're supposed to see beyond reality, see beyond like you know. Because sometimes, like 
everyday life, like the reality itself, sometimes can be very cruel. Mm-hmm. You know, you cannot see anything good at it. But if you just close your eyes and try to see in, with a different perspective, you can see some hope, some goodness. Because this happened, he started seeing Harvey after his mother died, yeah. right? Yeah. So maybe that take a toll on him. But he didn't just see it. He walked down the street and, and, and saw, saw it him. next, uh, leaning on the post yeah. bike. And with him, because he spent a lot of time with yeah. this Harvey, mm-hmm. he, turned, he changed a lot of people's lives. Life, maybe, maybe he, before before this, because we didn't really see how he was in the past, right? Yeah, he just but we know he directly. was very smart. He, yeah, he, uh, his sister keeps saying he, and, that. Yeah, and he said it like there is two two types you can do, like you can be very be, be, very smart or very pleasable, or pleasant, so. pleasant, yeah, yeah. And he chose and he to, be, pleasant. to be pleasant, because smart like a. Uh, all the time you're gonna be into like a percentage oh if i do this this will happen come on yeah, don't you overthink can, you it. could be smart but then if you have no you don't appreciate life it's, yeah. it's, it's a different thing and we've seen him how he acts every single day like mm-hmm. he was like i know he drinks a lot and it was yeah. quite quite questionable right yeah. but even in that place where in the pub or at charlie's you remember that old yeah, man yeah yeah he even like that he cares about that old mm-hmm. man. And I think he yeah. everyone that he met, he invites them to dinner. Mm-hmm. And, like to talk the, to them. For, and some, the, yeah, say. And sometimes but like in our lives we we, we just need that someone that uh that's asked us like how we are. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, ask yeah. us to be a friend. Because yeah. right now in this life, nobody really stops and cares anymore. Everybody to tell you like, like oh concerned. like you know, if you wanna talk yeah, Remember yeah, yeah. he gives that card. For a reason that if he wants, if you want to talk, and don't call me on this number, because the old one. Call me on this one. Yeah, maybe represent, but that this was my life before. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me now. <laughs> maybe, maybe, because in the beginning we saw the perspective of other people how they see him. Crazy. How but did things? I not tell you like at at some certain point? What if this Harvey is really real, man? Because yeah. it gives me a feeling like, okay, it looks like. He's not just crazy, but he's very nice, agreeable person. Mm-hmm. And it, for the fact, doesn't matter. Does you don't need to talk with uh, uh, in you know imaginary, invisible, or even real spirits like a big rabbit. Being agreeable is already dangerous for you to go in the world because many people will take advantage of you. Yeah, I know. That well, was nice. I like it. I really enjoyed this I one. Really like it it, it reminds me of the It's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. This guy, James Stewart. He's, he's, I think, he's good. Yeah, you have this yeah. feeling that it reminds you to think about life. I know, I know. <laughs> right? Yeah. But this one is a, has a different take. I don't know how old. I think this is after four years. It was the it was a Wonderful Life. I it, forgot when it was. So I think it's also in somewhere something. in the 50s. No? Yeah, this is 50, yeah. 1940s, Marnie. 40 something was the. 40 was 40. 1940s something was the, the wonderful, the wonderful life. life, really? And, yeah, and this one is 50. Oh, I thought this one is uh, older. Older than. I don't know, I forgot. Life. Maybe but, I'm wrong. But it does remind me something like that. But like, you know, when you watch at the beginning of the movie, you kind of yeah. get confused what it's all about, mm. right? And then slowly, slowly, you really try to watch the movie to really yeah. understand the meaning behind it. Because if you don't. Because maybe this time, uh, maybe not like long before, but people kind of, because there's not a lot of action movies back then. Yeah. You do this kind of movies, drama, drama more on people more, talking, more, right? More so into real life, So real that's deals. why when they give out this movie, uh, it's easy for people to decode what the message is about. Yeah. Because now there's a lot of movies that there's action, action, action. You don't need to understand. Because yeah. in Philippines, when me and my mom are watching and we don't really, you know, my mom doesn't really understand English. She understands a little bit. But if you give her an action movie, that's it. She understands everything. <laughs> because the action... And you know? how I was with a lot of sci-fi before. And I used to watch freaking romantic yeah, But movies. I'm saying, but people watch this a uh, long time ago during yeah. the 1950s. It'll there were some actions. For, it's easy well. for him to decode the message of the movie yeah. because uh, the movie the, this time is like this. Like, mm-hmm. just, you know, conversation. Was, I was impressed of the previous movie that we saw that was very old about the sci fi. Remember? I had the for the man, the, 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 yeah. the, the, like the how you call it? The, um, the concept of that movie, I forgot. Forbidden Planet, no? Yeah, yeah, the Forbidden Planet, I, yeah. It, that it you cannot good. see the enemy. <laughs> if you do that type of movie in this uh, with this technology now, it will turn so out to be so nice. Epic, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, we enjoyed this, um, Luis. Thank you for yes. suggesting this movie to us. Uh, I hope 
uh, for those so it will be the first time watching this take time yeah to, to watch this you're gonna enjoy it mm -hmm. um if you enjoy this guy please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want to so continue to support us you can uh, join our patron that yes. way you, you can help us make so we can make more exactly reaction videos right till next time bye bye